Where? There we go. I was like, why does that feel so far away? Because it was. Uh oh, we even we even go into the lineups. That's that's on us. That's on us. <laughs> That's 100% on us, and I'm unprepared like always. Look, y'all, we back every Thursday. How was your How was your week so far? You know, it's Friday Eve. So you got one more day left. Then it's time for the weekend. You feel me? Um, let's. I think I gotta pick a side to do this. Or actually, we do this. Okay, so look, yeah, we got Curry, Marks, Durant, Rick Barry, and Will Chamberlain. Pretty stacked lineup. A lineup that took them to the playoffs actually every season, um, but never wanted to get them very far in the playoffs uh, this year. They're looking to change that. The Lakers, of course, also playoffs every season. You got Magic, Kobe, Asur, Thompson, who's actually just getting the start over LeBron this year as LeBron's, what, 41 now? And then we got James Worthy and Shaq. And then you got Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, LeBron, AD. And George Mikan, which is crazy. Kareem is retired, by the way. Um, he's he's already out of his prime. But yeah, the Lakers are stacked top to bottom, man. It's it's there's really no competition. But surprisingly, they haven't won the champ. I mean, they won the championship. I think the first two seasons, maybe three. Um, but they haven't won it the past two seasons. So since Kareem is retired, since LeBron has gotten a little older, you know, they've, they've Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge will be you know, slowed down a little bit. As well. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yesterday, I realized my stream was like, the, the audio was, uh, I didn't realize when I did the audio check that the audio was so loud. Like the game was actually, let me see if I can... Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Many would say that's the smart play. Cindy Shaq to the line where he's, let's say, a little less. Is that? Hold on. Lakers shooting their first free throws. It's going to be a little tonight. echoey, but I got to see what this is. Look at Shaq wiping the sweat off. This is the hardest part of the game for him, his free throws. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if it was just I sounded super quiet or the game sounded super loud or maybe combination of both. I have no uh, But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Shaq patting himself, like patting the sweat off of himself. It's hilarious. And he's good on the second. So Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Fires the three, and he's good on the three ball. Well, sometimes basketball is not all that complicated. Just let Stephen Curry shoot threes and get out of the way. Oh, look at Will with the defense. That's one thing that this team, the Warriors, you think Curry probably the Johnson. best offensive team in the league, but Will actually brings an element Outside of defensing Curry. and rebounding. Passes it to March. When they're starting she five is out there, they're Durant. deadly. And then in Just recent years, the he's he's gotten used to standing outside and, and helping with them spacing the floor. And he's actually been able to contribute a whole lot. Um, this is definitely playoff basketball we're watching here. Even though it's like the Warriors' first game of the season. Or the Lakers' first game of the season. Um, these two teams, I'd be very surprising for them to not both make it. We do have a lot of young teams in the West, only getting better and better each year. We're able to catch these guys eventually, but I mean, not, I don't think this is the year, you know. Oh, look, oh, I was going to say, if he, he going to put that up and over, right now they're the Warriors. Find themselves, ooh, ahead. KD tries to shot Rick Barry with the putback, okay. And yes, sir. Hangs in there. Cashes in. Now we got Kobe. Six point game. He's he's definitely the matchup of the Marks is not equipped to guard him. Oh, oh, Rick Barry was in there. I didn't even see him in the traffic. Here in the first, just under two and a half. So far, they've been playing the passing lanes, and that's what's been making the difference. Curry or KD. Oh, good on the three. 
Lakers trail by six. Johnson surveying the floor. Kobe passes to O'Neal. Only Jan, I don't know who this is here. He lobs it up. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Shaq. Come on. Come on. Take it up on KD, dog. You way too big. And again, the Lakers, no good. I know he's still got a dribble he's a pass. Guy to count on the bro. produce from the mid range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Marks, no good. Anzo Bryant will bring it up. Oh, that's a wide open. They trail Cashed in on it. And maybe a deep breath moment Sword for them. They're now one for four. Was to kind of under attack. Him and Amin, uh, twin brothers, came in. For starters, everyone thought that Amin was actually the better of the two. Um, and he was doing good things in, with the Mavs. Sore, his stat line, not so good. But he made it to the playoffs. And it's like, how do you, you know, people were kind of on him this offseason. You know, how do you, how are you not doing anything? Your brother's over here with his tail off. And, and you're barely doing anything and you get carried to the playoffs. You know, how's that? What's that conversation look like? You know, blah, blah, blah. Like harassing him a little bit about it. But, uh, I mean, clearly it, it took effect for him to step up into the starting line. I think we're going to see him. I mean, but, but really look, right? He's playing with Magic, Kobe. James Worthy, Shaq. Like you don't really need to do much other than not be a defensive liability. The defense has all eyes on Stephen. He exploits that with a dish. We just going we just going to chill. We just going to chill Kobe and watch. And Curry pulls it down. Warriors leading by three. Durant for three. Oh, he's now made two of four. Yeah. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Training the triple. O'Neal is screen on Curry. Free throw line jump shot. Bill Chamberlain with the rebound. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Los Angeles' head coach gave me a few minutes. He understands they're facing a team that can put up points in a hurry. He said they need to put forth a great effort defensively to prevent scoring runs. They can't afford to let those guys get hot and stay hot. We'll see who wins the battle of wills here tonight. David, thank you for that. Very interesting. G8, their focus on preventing a scoring burst early on. And it's tough. But once you've lost momentum to try and recapture it, they're relying on their defense to negate that up front. Well, you'd love to live in that disruptive mode all night long, never allowing your opponent to get comfortable. It took him a while, but he finally gets one too far. Pass to Chamberlain. Ooh, what a snatch. This is kind of a dream matchup, too. Shaq versus Wilt in the front. A, a lot of eyes here in this. In years past, though. Ooh. They, they've done a good job of not really making it about him. Although when Shaq does make it about him, he falls out. Los Angeles will take it the other way. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to I will have. say, I, I usually do see that Shaq has the better stat line of the two, but. Oh, look at Kobe. Oh. Brian yeah, gives James. Trying to get open and shoot. First of all, I love the effort on that play from James. Got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Let's talk about one of the most feared, versatile scorers at that forward position. Big game James always seems to make the most Dude. of the situation. <laughs> so let's talk about it and say quiet for the did you see him moving around? He wasn't just sitting still. He was. He wasn't trying to rely on on, on the screen. He was moving. He was trying to get open, and he was open. Actually, he was getting mad and upset when he didn't get the ball. And now the Warriors taking their second timeout. And this is a, a reason why the Lakers are so good. Now what? One seven. Perfect time to call a timeout. They don't do it. They understand it's a game of runs. They understand they're going to get theirs. And then all of a sudden, they start coming back from, you know, from being down early. Teams start to get a little pressed. Their, their coach starts to see it. They got to take a timeout. You know, so they've already taken two timeouts this quarter. You know, you're going to need those for later. Los Angeles on D. Oh. 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 They drew that up. Something nice. How did what? He came. He came around. 
There was two three passes. Now here's Johnson. No points in the game yet for him. Oh. Here's Kobe. Oh. And this is it off the right side. Wow. Of the Warriors leading by three. Barry the pass to Curry. The three. And the three ball is good. Curry's got his third hey. base for the night right there. I mean, the range is just it's got me on Twitch. Curry can make even the toughest shots look easy. Here's the pass to Johnson. The high post shot. He screws up and sinks it. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Shaq against Chamberlain. Passes it to Curry. Shoots over Johnson. The rebound by Bryant. Kobe's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Now here's Durant after Magic Johnson's miss. Back to Durant. Pass to Barry. Six to shoot. Three pointer. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got his fourth rebound in this one. Johnson outside. O'Neal is screen on Curry. Thompson outside. Here's Shaq. Plays it up and banks it in. And now just a two-point warrior lead. And so hard to cover Shaq effectively inside. He just powers three. Pass to KD. Chamberlain with a screen on Thompson. Durant kicks to Chamberlain. Here's Barry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Lakers with the ball. And he's going up for the alley -oop. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And Los Angeles with some changes. Baylor, he's checked in for Kobe. And West subs in for Johnson. Now here's Curry. Eight points for him. Here's Chamberlain. Elgin Baylor pulls it in. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway mm. there to create some room. Dude, yeah. well, that makes sense. Elgin. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Here's Curry. Chamberlain with a screen on West. Curry can't get it to go. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Baylor hits the bucket. And what's unique about Baylor, he can score from a variety of angles. And he can score from a variety of angles. Of <laughs> <Just great extension. laughs> oh, yeah, you give him too much space. Marks a shooter. He basically was a carbon copy. Of Clay Thompson and came in perfectly as Clay Thompson started to age. They look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Dishes it to Chamberlain. Kicks it to Curry. Oh, we're starting to see some people off the bench come in. You got Prosper. Golden State moving the ball around. In for KD. A floater. He Ooh. takes it up and lays it in. And now it's a three-point warrior lead. I think it's just in a little fuck. We got Jerry West, though, in for thing that sometimes gets over and Elsa Baylor for, for the Lakers. The court vision. Makes a great They're still there. keeping a lot of it's starters out from there. Long range. Those teams you can't just stop have their people when there's a pick really subbed out. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one they don't the like to watch tomorrow with that. They don't like to take time out. Oh, Shaq again. Stopping what would have been a monster highlight from Wilt and Jerry Wilt <laughs> leaves Curry gone, forcing Marks to draw down to play help D, and then he takes advantage of it. Oh my goodness! Lakers who are once down one to seven. Oh, now have things tied up, and they have a two for one opportunity here. So they're going to push the pace. Because they have to just quick possession, so you get a steal, take advantage, you can get out and transition for one. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. Oh, they got him. West after the Warriors pick up three. Shoots over oh. Curry, oh. and it's West missing. Oh. And already they just take now it's just one for right. Just try to try to defend here. There you go. 
and control. This is pretty game. much going to be play this right to last Ooh, possession Here's of the quarter. Don't rush that because Will is all over. And now you've given up the two for one advantage. He didn't convert any of the two opportunities that you had. And Rick Barry is too big for Jerry West. Luckily, Shaq able to guard it. Guard him, but you can't guard him and Will at the same time. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was. He has to literally put his hand through the basket to get the block. Gary West from deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> Doesn't even hit backboard. Um, but it was deep. It was deep. Up two, right? Uh at home. I don't know. I think they could pull out the dub. I mean, they gave it up, but I think that they can continue to find that formula and succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Um <clears throat> not even close. A 21 point blowout here. Uh let's just kind of take this quarter by quarter. So they were actually up four at half. Okay. Up four at half, and then they give it all up. <laughs> uh now they're down ten. Okay. And then down another 11, basically, going into... Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Down 11, I should say. Whatever it is. Uh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah, down 10, down another 11. Um, I mean, the, the shot percentages, again, we see are just absolutely crazy. In this league, you know, 50% from three is considered elite like the top teams are 50 percent. so when you're doing over 50 percent you are are absolutely crushing it right um and then to get to the line look at the difference between free throw attempts it's insane it's absolutely insane every aspect every facet every statistical part of a basketball game <laughs> You know, any aspect to a basketball game that you could measure out statistically, the Lakers beat the Warriors in here tonight, except for total number of threes made. But they still shot at such a higher clip. They made the most of their threes. Um, Warriors who tended to live and die by threes, you know, had they shot at the same rate, maybe this would be a much closer game. But, you know, after that, we got to check out the box score, right? Curry had 20 points and 11 assists. Shot four of ten from three. Durant had twenty points, two of three from three. So it's it's not them, right? Um, I mean, oh, here we go. Marks, the shooter, right? Three of nine. Yikes. Kobe boxed him. Uh, two of four in that first quarter looked promising. Three of nine. <laughs> you know that's that's gonna be a rough one, and that's gonna probably be it where you put a lot of that. That's where that pressure starts to come. But, you know, also you look at people like who are supposed to be dominating the boards. You know, they're doing their jobs. The assists uh, are happening, at least as far as starters go. But everyone else kind of fell off for him. Meanwhile, though, Shaq, again, when I say they're in their, in their matchups, you know, look at this stat line. It's impressive. But then look at Shaq. I mean, five blocks, 12 rebounds, 28 points with a double-double. You know, <laughs> even shot the three a couple times. Probably just showing off, knowing he wasn't going to make that. And then he co had Kobe with 20-plus and multiple steals, harassing uh, marks. Uh, you know, James Worthy with 17 points. But what I love as well is that even, like, LeBron is still giving you double-digit points off the bench, which is absolutely wild. Um, but lots of people giving you nine assists, multiple steals, multiple rebounds. Elgin Baylor with eight rebounds from the shooting our position off the bench. Just crazy stuff like that. That these Lakers do that make them seem unstoppable at times. So now with that, I think the Lakers open up their season uh one and oh. While the Warriors are actually 0 and two, uh not looking good for them. About as as bad as you could possibly start that. Uh let's let's go on to the next one here, man. We got, so we're only going to play, we're going to play everyone's first game. And then, uh, which it looks like we pretty much played. 
and then we're gonna only play light games. So, uh, like zero and one versus zero and one, we'll watch that. Uh, zero and one versus zero and one, one and zero versus one and zero, we'll watch those but teams with mismatch records. We, we you know we're not watching that. Um, all of these teams though have played. So, has everyone played their first game? Because that that. Yeah, it looks like everyone has played their first game. All right, well, there you go. All right, we have the Wizards versus the Grizzlies. Two teams that, well, the Wizards have just been a statistical, like, anomaly. They, their whole thing is offense. Um that, that's how they play. And, and when you look at this lineup, you don't really think, oh, what a deadly squad. But I think they're just, their philosophy is what makes them deadly. Meanwhile, the Grizzlies have a super young, super athletic team that if they don't win it this year, it's not even like, oh, okay, who cares? You know, because we got next year and the year after and the year after, they're only going to get better and better and better. At least that's what's in their plans, in their minds. Um, yeah, Grizzlies are definitely going to be a team to look out for in the coming seasons, but what can they do this season? You know, starting off 0-1, not so hot. Now they got to play the Wizards on the road. Eh, good luck. And actually, if you guys want to see the sliders... Happy Friday night, everyone. Time to kick off the weekend with the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter, Ali LaForce. We'll see the Memphis Grizzlies take it on the Washington Wizards. And check it out, the opening lineup for Memphis. John Moran is out there with Mike Conley. Then it's Jaron Jackson. And it's Walker in at the three slot. Now here's Wall. Fires the three. And Ooh, the miss. rare miss. Dill. Here's Moran. Here's Dill Walker. Arenas. Rebound, Washington. They had these guys. They just find them a tad late, I think. And here's Wall. Walker covering. Trying to, trying to do something. Although he is 6'7". Out to the right wing. Position. It's not Just like three to shoot. an actual oh, big, Rina's big man. Hey, there's one thing we know so about Gilbert Arenas now. There's not a shot that he there. won't take. He'll let it fly from anywhere. Ball against Conley. Conley. Pass to Moran. Outside he's, Walker. He's going to get physical. Jump. Back to Moran. Jackson on the wing. Oh, that's a bucket. Oh, yeah, wow. Not a bucket. Plus, Unso is all over it. Be able to pump fake to wall. That's how that's how deadly these guys are. Nice play by John Wall as he scores. Is that even though the dude was in position to play defense, still jump on the pump. Pass to Walker. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. No, Bradley Gill. Picking up a foul. This is going to be how the Grizzlies have to get on the board. Free throw good. Walker. Throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and here. your mental approach. He's locked in from there. We're gonna watch the Most first quarter of this. We'll sim it. We'll see who wins. But as to Arenas, oh, oh he. I guess say he. Oh, Wes Unso with the rebound. And that's a 
Oh, Wes Gibson. Yeah, this Wizard squad takes full effort on offense. All right, rebounding, making the extra pass, doing all of that. That's their bread and butter. They will attempt to rebound offensively, even at the risk of being horribly out of position on the defensive end. They have no interest in that. He's got six. An outstanding first quarter from the field. You know, they, exactly they put right. I mean, minimal effort in. Impressive on scoring here. Look at that. Really no effort to Three fight over that screen. Randolph Mullins. The big man, the center. Three, you don't see that all the time. Back and forth. Nothing like answering back. He was drafted One team gets three, you a handful of years ago. Oh, maybe no maybe that last year, but the year before Clean that. Look from mid -range. He was rookie of the year. Probably want to run that play again. Uh, oh, by Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> an opportunistic player. When Jackson sees an alley oop opportunity, he's, he you know, doesn't taking pass it up. Al Gasol's spot. Outside wall. Beal against Walker. Oh, look. Here's oh, Arenas. oh, I didn't even that see Arenas. Nice assist for Beal. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. I was thinking, man, they got that well defended. They got, they got defenders all over the place. I didn't even see sure change. Arenas in the three. corner there. Oh. And again, it's Memphis with a three. And Morant is as, a really has become the only way you can score in this league. It's off the screens. Or just by... Uh, it's kind of you know, fading off to the side <laughs> without anyone noticing and being wide open. Memphis trailing here. Right side Moran. Look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, yeah, this, this had to Conley. And Arenas pulls it down. Conley, you, you got to make pay for that. regret defending him so loosely. Now here's Hayes. Oh. Now Beal. Going in. Oh. What an athlete Beal is. These kind of throwdowns get him going. As oh, well as his teammates. my. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T. Ain't got fouled on that, really, if we're, if we're being honest. So it's the Grizzlies now. Then you call it. Jeez Moran. Louise. Oh. Uh, it's a center on center action, but there's definitely a height difference. 13 feet out. Pass to Arenas. Grizz is unable to make a bank. Oh! Take that back to Tijuana. And we have to take another look at that block. That's exactly what That didn't even land in bounds, did it? Playing from behind. Energetic defense. I mean, the Grizzlies, they better utilize their big presence down low. Any team that faces the Wizards, utilize that big presence wearing down on the defensive end. I mean, look at that. There you go. It would have been a pretty good alley oop. And then look at him. Takes it coast to coast. I like that effort from him. He's got five. And they may have I really do. I love it. Selection coming into this. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Oh, Crash, that's a. Oh, you had John Wall in the corner. Hey. He's gonna rise up and take the shot. He's gonna make it. Tier score in today's game. Who looks to capitalize whenever he can? Outside Morant. Launches a three. It's Haiti. Bro, you're John Morant, bro. Attack the basket, driving kick. Do something. I mean, oh, look at, oh, look at Moran getting, oh, uh, he was kind of, we're not going to lie, he was kind of getting cooked. West kind of, he had to get that rebound because he kind of got in the way. He kind of interrupted one up. It is. I mean, no reason to back off. And so he felt like he had to get that rebound. Making him go to the line. Give him some points here. Oh, he's old. And these guys, this team is a... Like 99% from the free throw line. See, and this team is dead from the free throw line. Uh, you know, not 90 plus percent. Scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. 
when they miss field free throws. Right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working this ball around. The first free throw is good. John Morant. So he got them both. I think I'm going to get NBA 2K25. I probably not though. I'm, I'm definitely going to get uh, a new NCAA when it comes out, and I'll probably be fascinated with that for quite some time. Up top wall. He's guarded because I'm going to be. I'm going to be all over. I'm going to create my own dynasty. I create my own team Here's if I can. Race. You know what I'm saying? He's got 12. Ooh. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. Arenas, boy, I tell you, is one of the most confident and explosive scores in the game. The shoot first point guard who will let it fly at any time and do real Look damage. Spin. In the, the Wizards making a switch here. Monroe's checked in. Both good from the line that time. Here's Bibby. Oh, Mike Bibby. Look, he saw some people up out here. And look at him. Getting down low. We're going to call him for three seconds, so if he doesn't hurry up. Finish from the low block. That was good. He has seven. Mike Bibby, dude. He's one of those guys here. Super, like, hyper efficient. You know, like, I'm not trying to say, oh, like, oh, he's a great scorer or anything, but, like, when he takes a shot, he makes it. You know, he makes sure it's a quality oh, shot. A nice way to start. Makes his first one. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. So to have this yeah, guy, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tough with his vision. Here's that Bibby. stuff. Oh, the Grizzlies able to retain possession here. At the helm. So off the bench is, is huge. Now we're seeing, I think, full bench for everybody. Pau Gasol's in there. Cameron Bibby. Oh, he's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Now here's Beal. Let's actually take a look at these two teams. I'm still getting used to. Oh, almost. Here's Abdul Rahim. The Grizzlies. Yeah, DJ Cameron is who they drafted. You see him on the floor. Washington with a rebound. And then Washington with Gabriel Mayo. Who I think is a small forward. I see him on the floor when Bradley Beal comes off. The Grizzlies take it the other way. Here's Bibby. Mouse in the house. Here's Gasol. And he banks in the layup. Inside, Gasol is deadly. I mean, his height means finding a shot this close. Not too much work at all for him. Hey, the Wizards. Ooh. What a pass to set him up. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit yeah, small shooting at 63 percent. Outside Bain. I tell you, their their focus is strictly on the offensive side of the ball. The I mean it. <laughs> Here's Abdul Rahim. Well, he hasn't put up Ooh. any points yet in this one. And the basket by Bain. They have so no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's Elvin four straight stress field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's the defensive end, but that's to it's worth it for them. I mean, they run in transition on offense. They, they fight for the offensive shot. rebounds. Coming his way. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here now i think it is the full bench for everybody so world monroe phil chenier jaron marin marin how do you say his name uh, memphis trailing here Rulin, i can't remember his first name and then dawkins a rookie he's replacing michael jordan finally retired last season gasol a screen on yeah, harris 42 to the paint. Paint. and then gasol Jeez. with the jam Hey, kept it simple. Boy, no Harris reason Harris. to get there fancy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bain, yeah, he's just looking to find Cameron. shots and produce for his team. Hey, I saw man. Dr. Rahim, I think. I mean, <laughs> it was still a pretty sweet, <laughs> flavorful this? one hand flush. Hey, it's off the top but of the dome, man. I don't got him in his game. Game. I should. able to beat opponents in a number of ways. To the right side. 
Oh, oh, I thought it's he was out of bounds right there. Still oh, oh, mixing him. No bucket yet in the game for I feel him. like if he did one more semi back, for him he would have had it. He got a little left hand leg. Maybe lost concentration too. Maybe not very good with his left. Maybe, maybe Barron was on the sky. Oh, Harris. Closing out, but still. Ripped it. Oh, he's just waiting threes for them early. Hiding it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Outside pain. Oh, yeah, look, this is a buck over here. I can see it. Inside. Mop. Mop. And he goes strong with the one handed jam. Cannot afford to give I didn't up saw that little seat. Prime time yeah. real estate inside. It because he's up. dunking it on top of your head if you do. Now Ooh. here's Harris. Ooh. Oh. Fires from deep. And the Wizards with another three. Back to back threes. Making their defense. Five more the made threes than the Grizzlies already in just the first quarter. So it's like if you have 20 more made threes, that's 20 more points, right? Like, cause if they're if they're coming down to make twos, to get the least, that's 20 more points than they're scoring. So it's like that's that's a great way to get your That's huge. Oh wow! Oh, laced it too. Spark in this team. Oh, he's cold. Like Bibby. Trying to put the team on his back. Get him on the board. Man, that's now ten Take advantage of the last days of the defense. From the Wizards here, this is going to be the last shot of the quarter coming up. Come on, Rose setting it up. Everybody, look at that. Flush to the, to the right. He's going to charge on the left, but Bibby actually defended it pretty well. Okay. Up 11 at home, I would hope they'd be able to close this out. And they do. <laughs> a 14 point margin of victory. Um, and it wasn't even close. It was blowout terror. They were up 26 points at half. They gave up 10 of that. They were still up 16 going into the fourth. It, like, it didn't really matter the second half of the game. Total blowout. Again, 50% from three, right? So super, super elite. But then also when you look at look at look at the offensive rebounds. Twenty offensive rebounds. I'd be willing to bet that if we check last season's stats, I don't even know how to do that. But if we did that, that they'd be the league leaders in offensive rebounds. They they literally put everything toward the offensive side of the ball. That's what they do. And that that's their formula. That's how they win. That's how they get Rebounds, that's how they get the free throws, that's how they get everything down low. Um, not even a, an elite performance scoring wise. When your your leading scorer comes off the bench, it's either a really good night or a really bad night for you guys, right? There's no in between. Um, and, and yeah, sure, Mike Conley with nine assists, and, and uh, you know, there's a couple of people that have some tidbits of eliteness to them, you know. Hey, DJ Cameron, I love him though. Going two for two, two multiple steals, 10 points, you know, which tells me he got to the line a bit. Yes, he did. It converted them all. He's going to be special for him. This Grizzlies team is looking up. But the Wizards, man, I mean, it would arenas 29 points on them. Uh, and then on top of that, you had people with, you know, Elvin Hayes with multiple blocks and also racking 18 points. But look, like everybody is just getting into into everything. Here. Everybody's got five, six rebounds, five, six stats, uh, assists, stats. Uh, Wes Unsell though, twelve rebounds, absolutely huge. Uh, two blocks. Yeah, and, I, and I'm I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet too. Three of them were offensive. I just seem to get twenty. Oh yeah, Gilbert Arenas had five offensive rebounds. Oof. Really doing his team justice. Let me show you guys the sliders, man. All right, I'm going to show you guys the sliders to, to essentially making the best, most realistic looking sim. Because if you leave it on their default, ugh, it's painful to watch. Um, this is what we have to do. So for starters, I for this particular season, like for this particular uh, thing of all time teams and, and blah 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 and the fact that there's like multiple LeBron James and multiple you know Allen Iversons and you know Shaqs and, and things like that right 
I don't want them all getting jumbled and blah, blah, blah. I took trading and stuff off. You could, that, that stuff is really, you know, based on how you guys want it. But the actual uh, difficulty and everything is going to be... Uh, maybe... Oh, oh no, no, sorry, sorry. So the actual sim... So first of all, you, you do want to sim, like, paces and possessions and shots. And also, uh, what I would find, too, if you do care about, like... Oh, introducing, like, if you want to do a thing where you introduce, like, a, a 99 overall player just to see how it affects them and sim it 10 years or whatever. You do want to come out and get this stuff uh, switched because it does change, like, the quality of, like, it'll just kind of randomly assign it to people. But this will, like, basically put shot distribution and stuff like that toward the people who are better at it. You want these to be pretty much as far up as you can get them. Uh, as far as the actual sliders go... For the CPU and the user, since we're watching them, right, you want them to both be the same. Um, you got to put this, the shot success up pretty high. Um, you have to make this pretty offensive friendly. I've made mine offensive friendly. I want to see a lot of offense. That's why most of my games have 120 point, 130 points scored in them, 140 points even scored in them. I like to see more of the offense when I'm watching a sim. <laughs> um, so I got a lot of this set up really well for for the offense um but to counter it to not be just like every possession is a bucket um and to throw some wrinkles in there uh we do have like the layup strength is kind of you know better like it's not just people jamming it left and right you know they do have to actually run offensive plays and they'll typically work um you know, so you have like the vertical, the the uh, acceleration, um, all of that on ball defense, the stealing, the blocking has all gone up, um, as well as uh, uh, oh yeah, I put offensive awareness up. That's a huge one because like off for starters, offensive awareness, offensive consistency are huge because you'll see a guy drive and they'll have a wide open guy that like in real NBA, anyone like that's like the play is drawn up for this guy to be open. And this person will still drive and try to put a layup up for three men. And it's like, they're supposed to kick it out, have them kick it out. Um, also I, you know, the rebounding, I kind of tweaked it a little bit to be, you know, toward the defensive end. Statistically, it's just how it is. Right. Um, but lateral quickness, you know, made that so they wouldn't get blown by, um, tendencies kind of took some of this stuff away, like the three pointer. Got to give them those three point the post shots, kind of left it the same. You know, want them to attack for the basket. Want them to, you know, I want to see more alley oops, I want to see more dunk attempts and less layup attempts. Um, and you really have to be aggressive because <laughs> for whatever reason, 2K is just like, oh, let's make it harder for people to, to dunk because people were complaining about getting dunked on. So <laughs> you got to like really put the dunking sliders up if you want to see people actually dunk and like actually also do like crazy like windmill dunks and stuff in game. Otherwise, the CPU will just do like regular dunks in game. So if you want to, if you're doing a sim dynasty, you want to see that stuff, you got to be aggressive with the dunks. You have to kind of tweak some things on defense to counter it so that they're not just, you know, windmill in every possession. Um, the fouls, I think, is a big one. Uh, so. I made blocking fouls and charging fouls uh, less, so that way when they do go for dunks, you know, they, they don't get charged for those charging fouls. Um, reaching fouls, uh, shooting fouls, I lowered those as well, um, so that way the defense could be more aggressive uh, and it not get called as much. Uh, but then I increased the illegal screen frequency too, because uh, I noticed that there were, people were coming off of like setting crazy screens and people were coming off of them uh, and just being wide, wide open. And then I increased like the max speed all the way up to 85 with this stuff so that people, you know, like the differential between speed is, you know, Michael Jordan should be faster than Shaq down the court. It's just how it should be. Um, and this is the same for the, for the users and everything. And actually I was even thinking about... Um, as we're watching that, I was thinking about making the shooting foul frequency 45. Uh, 
help the defense just a little bit more, I think. And then also I'll tell you guys uh, my system for like generating good uh, players. Like when you're in these Sims, I don't know why, but the drafting talent is always horrible. Um, I figured out a way to kind of tweak the talent that comes in and do it in a fair and seemingly random way, uh, which is what's led to teams like the Suns, you know, <laughs> ascension and then teams like uh i don't know like the nuggets for instance you know their downfall they haven't been drafting very well um because it's randomly they just you know you never know when people are going to be busts and, and things like that so yeah um just sticking to that it this it, is actually probably more fun to build than it is to watch um which is cool but for me uh let's see here i mean dude when victor woman yama is your like leader and then like why is chauncey billups like what what is isaiah thomas doing bro i gotta know what he's doing all right we're gonna watch the hawks versus the hornets the hawks should win the hornets really shouldn't beat anyone here um like ever <laughs> um i mean i don't know Lamelo. Omar Alvarez, I, I I don't know, maybe, but probably not, right? It's just, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Scoot Henderson was supposed to be like their guy. Welcome. And he just has not progressed. And actually, he, that kind of it's, it's actually got me like a little suspicious on him. It's like. I know when you go down here and you look at Scoot, he got 97 overall potential. And he's got 40 badges. He was one of the top five prospects. Of this season. And yeah, look at this. I mean, he got 90. He got, actually, I think to be fair, you got to do this to give him uh eat a little leeway but yeah like he's got a low bust percentage and everything why is he only an 89 overall after playing a full season why is he not developed more i don't know to, to, to be honest i, I really don't know <laughs> um but you know nevertheless there he is right and it's like you got eddie jones just kind of wasting away but what whatever it, it is what it is really. i mean yeah he's he's you still got Dell Curry problems though, really. And Glenn Rice, like Alonzo Mourning, Larry Johnson, they're young, bro. You still got Glenn Rice to replace for show and Dell Curry as well. Um I mean, especially since you really don't even have a, a point guard at all backing these guys up, other than literally Muggsy Bogues. So yeah, yeah, you gotta get a point guard. If you're them coming into this next offseason, but uh, that's that's neither here nor there. We gotta play Hawks versus the Hornets. E Hawks versus the Hornets. I don't know why it's doing that. I feel like it should. Maybe if I go through Daily View and do it, it does this. There we go. Should throw it in the middle. Um, yeah, man. Hawks last year. I went through, so I usually do their lineups for them. Uh, and I try to optimize the lineups, but to keep people from having like mega advantages. Richard Jefferson. This you know, I basically Anderson. have a rule of like starters get a set number of minutes, Force. right? Like we'll see the LeBron Hornets. James is going to play Taking 40 minutes, you know, so uh, the even though he could. Pass to Young. Uh, Here's Maravich. You know, because then the teams like Hornets would you know, be. Schwacked. Um, Pocket six. Over to the wing. Young oh. from long range. Armstrong oh, grabs the good. miss. Here's Henderson. They set a pick. 
Let's it go from oh, DJ Armstrong. Bam. Trifecta. He's consistent from out there. He especially when you give him that kind of room. Is huge. He's widely regarded to be the from best the pick range, in the draft. The, the Knicks had the first pick. <laughs> they didn't need a big man. The so they ended up picking Paul Nixon. CJ Armstrong was highly regarded to be the, the best pick in this draft for Mike. Even if I'm the Knicks, I might have drafted him just to trade him. But not them, right? So the Knicks. So Paul Nixon is no way wrong. Best point guard this draft. Here's Maravich. Shooting guard, whatever fluff he is. Outside Young. But TJ Armstrong, he's and there's a the best prospect the three, from the draft. Another four. three for Atlanta. And he's spacing the floor. He's, he's playing big. big. You know he's Young doing is looking to come right back with a triple of his own. Here's Henderson. Scoop. Scoop Henderson. Right wing. Here's Alvarez. And Alvarez. the Hornets, Ooh. another three. The way he can elevate he over a defender. Alvarez was drafted very tough to contain outside the, the year before last. Scoot Henderson was drafted last year. C.J. Armstrong was drafted this year. Walker against All Young. these guys starts in, of course. From behind the arc. You know, Drops in the three. He's been fantastic. Young's got six. At the perimeter, Young has such an attacking mentality. Always looking for chances to take shots from range. Here's Henderson. He was fouled. Scoot, man, he's showing him glimpses of greatness. But yeah, so I, I said their, uh, you know, the Hornets. their depth charts and their bench lineups and everything for them. And here them. in the first I approaching three minutes play. For the Hawks last season, they still found a way to make it to the playoffs. Walker against Young. Uh, and when we got to the playoffs, you know, I, I readjusted everybody. Someone was like, oh, crap, I didn't do their stuff. And he's going for the line. And, uh, Ali Oop on top. Yeah, did their stuff for him, but it's a little too late. They didn't have the match, they didn't have the chemistry, they didn't have people were all tired because they were playing way too many minutes. Oh, wow. Oh, Scoot Henderson. Oh! 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 We're gonna take that all the way on! And he goes in for the dunk. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here, the fans going crazy right now. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Wilkins. Wow. That was fantastic. Pass to Young. He, oh, Pistol Pete, he thought about pulling it. He thought about pulling the trigger. There he is. My. Off the dribble don't matter. And he's it's a pistol. Pete. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. It don't matter. Pete yeah, it is. It is bad news for the rest of the game. Pete Maravich, when he comes out Here's swinging, five points in the game. You win for a rough one. Oh, no dice oh. The high post. I love the Good effort shot, though. Gone bad. Oh, was that Armstrong? No, that was Armstrong. away. Uh oh. Hello. To Alvarez. Good vision. Oh, <laughs> Alvarez. Here's Henderson. Did not suspect Mutombo to make his way down the court that quick. But that's Fires a lucky. three. Mutombo. And the Hornets, not used three. to having to guard people. And just shredding from... apart the defense with his passing. He's now helping Pete's to gonna take the ball up. so well. He's locked Ooh. in with his teammates right now, setting guys up. Ooh. Oh, Mutombo, great. He <laughs> rebound. Had Armstrong Charles jumping in. Even out of position, still made a pretty good block there. Good enough. Oh, and it came off of Matumpa. That's huge. Here's Henderson. Charlotte here. Pass to Walker. There's the triple. Kimba. Knocks down the triple. Lean. The defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Lean. Oh. Here's oh. That's a bucket. Give him eight. That was a bucket getter. Now Walker. Oh, uh, here's Alvarez. I thought he's gonna just try to splash that. Yes. Dude. Play by Walker to set it up. That's what his third three. They're, they're stretching right off the tip. these hawks out to the middle. Tumbo. So what's he gonna right do with it? Maravich. Oh, I think if you're Maravich, you got to get that to drop. Or you got to do something else with it. 
you know, you weren't at a point in the shot clock where you had to take that. Ball with it. Like that. To the inside. And you were in a place thing where if you want to take it, it in with a nice it. touch off I the think window. he's got, what, 11 points? 13 points. points. Keep feeding the beast. Alvarez has been fantastic. Down low. It's mm. CJ Armstrong playing amazing defense. Armstrong. And look, he's going to... The putback. <laughs> It's been a dog. Been pretty much unstoppable. Young against Walker. What a putback. To end the run. And yeah, they're mm. going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And yeah, this is the fire Young brings to every game. He won't let a foul stop his shot. It's Walker. Free throw is good. Young. You know, it's quite remarkable how quickly Trey Young became a force to be reckoned with in the league. And so far, there doesn't seem to be a limit on his potential as a top tier score. Here's Henderson. He's got five. Whoa! Oh! Oh, my oh my goodness! They've shown so much energy right from the start. School instantly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really set the <laughs> top offense, and the opposition been has stars not been able for to this Hornets team. And here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Nobody complaining. Kimba ain't complaining. He's not getting the ball. Lamelo ain't complaining. They just out there vibing. That was a crazy lob. You lob. know it. And you know it. Walker. You call a timeout. You got a play drawn up, and that's what Pass you did. Alvarez. And oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, Walker keeping He's been destroying them. I mean, he lets the play develop and just finds the open man. Now, here's Young. Nine points in the game. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Let's go with a three. The shot, no good. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. Tombo, you got mouse in the house alert here. Don't go to the, don't go beyond. No, what are you? Launches it. Got it. Makes him four. I guess that that resulted in three. He's doing everything he but can. You got Camel Walker on you, bro. Just back him down. Outside Walker. Just back him down. Get him to foul. You probably get three that way. Oh. Distance. Walker's got six points. I don't know Man, who's they've settled in quickly today. A nice flowing rhythm. To I don't know who's guarding him. What happened? Oh, he got screened to oblivion. That's what happened. Young from oh, Trey Young knocks it down. Didn't even. Kimba was fully relying on him going right back completely out. across that yeah, screen. He did. He decided to shoot over Bob Pettit. Oh, oh. To the inside. Here's Alvarez. Alvarez. There's ball the big three. dog. Rebound Atlanta. Almost had a good assist there. Mello. Crossing him. <laughs> At this point, bro, I'm not even. I'm not even. <laughs> it, this is Alvarez's team, man. This ain't Lamelo's team. Deep. This is Kemba's team. The rebound by Look at him, bro, getting that and here monster the board. They've got a nine Look, oh, lead. if he would have converted on that, they I'm like, yep, it's his team. <laughs> and the basket by the tumble. Transition basketball. The most Fending. reliable way to generate tough, easy tough, looks. Tip to the fin with Tumbo to fool the steam. Like he does, good things tend to happen. Now here's oh, Walker. Man, he was really thinking about pulling that. Oh, oh. Yes. Alvarez has been stressing him. All night from deep with a nice little eight pump fake. Bob Pettit was out the picture. Alvarez with an easy lay. He's got 17 points. On the night, almost half of his team's production. That's good. His first bucket of the game. Pounding it inside. It's absolutely wild. Setting a physical tone. I mean, that must have been on their scouting report, man. They've been feeding him, and he's been dogging him. Like, you know what? How about shoot? He's going closely. Jordy. That one goes. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. Here's Maravich. He's got 11. He, he got, oh, look at that. Look at that fade. Dude, <laughs> bro. That's classic. 
Pete Maravich formation. He's been lights out on five of seven. Three of five from Miani Art. Yeah, that's classic Pete. Walker with it. Pass to Alvarez. Yeah, but, oh, look at Alvarez. Oh, I, I wanted that to go. I tried to be unbiased, but I wanted that to go. Oh, that's got to be a charging foul. Yeah, I'm going to say, but Tumbo. Come on, big dog. <laughs> He had his feet set for a minute, <laughs> and Boyd didn't even try to rise up. He just charged shoulders straight into the chest. The Hornets with the lead. Now you got Jones Eddie Jones. Oh, pop! It's a bucket. They've really built this lead on the wow. back of their perimeter game. We'll see if they can keep they this have, pace. Not they sure have ten they points by relying on just the three. Here's Hollins. To Hagen jacks up a three. Let that one go. Misses his first shot of the game. So it's the Hornets now. Here's Morning on the wing. Curry. I'm about to say, bro, that's just how they drew it up. Pass, screen, Holland. pass. Oh, oh no geez, Holland. They keep trading punches. Both Who did the Hawks draft this year? To think at this point, the winner would Matt be Collins. The so they drafted. Good. Always Jones. good to keep an eye on the Curry. rookies. See them progress. See them have a, an impact on, on the, the game. From deep. Mm. And Hagen pulls it down. The Hawks trailing. Here's Hollins. Oh, yes. Whoa. Throw it down. Oh. oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. Here's Morning. Floats one. Doesn't Ooh, go floats that one time. up, but doesn't get it to quite go. Here's Holland, covered by Johnson. It's good. And now just a four-point Charlotte lead. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Fade away. And that one's long. That's the quarter right there. Hawks actually had a nice little comeback there near the end. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know. They're at home. They're only down four. Let's see what they can do. I don't know what this music is it's playing. Jeez. 29 point margin of victory. The Hawks being able to come in and upset somebody on the road, uh, a team that just went to the playoffs, nonetheless. I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of big for them. Not gonna lie. Um, let's take a look at how they did it. Well, for starters, <laughs> okay. Um, so up 13 and a half, and then up another. So, yeah, this is pretty much a blowout. It was a blowout the whole way through and through. Um, at, at this point, I mean, hold the Hawks at shooting 30% from three, holding the Hawks to 30% from three. Absolutely abysmal percentages. Um, I mean, their defense, bro, just kept in it, but also a phenomenal 62% from three themselves. You know, it, it doesn't really matter. The, look, look at the difference in assists, man. You know, this Hawks team, they're constantly near the bottom of the league in assists, and then they wonder why they can't score buckets. You know, you got to make the extra pass, my guy. You got, You guys got to work. You know, you can't just sit on the block. You got to get moving, set screens, do something, you know. Um, and, yeah, sure, Trey Young can drop 25. And, and by the way, Pete had 13 in the, in the first quarter and then just disappeared. The man just disappeared. It wasn't even like he fell off. He took one more shot and didn't make it and then didn't take another shot the rest of the game. What? what, what he didn't take a whole, a whole shot in the second quarter and in the third quarter? And then in the fourth quarter, only took one shot. Pistol Pete Maravich, that w Hawks, what are you doing? How did he play 29 minutes, only take one shot in three quarters? <laughs> but, bro, okay, but let's, let's, I mean, Kemba Walker, uh, balling out with 25 points. Also, LaMelo with 20. Omar, yeah, I had 17 points in the 
first quarter do was like half of their offense as a team. And then he had 11 rebounds and he had nine assists, all elite numbers, almost a triple double. And then get this defensively, no slouch either four blocks. Oh my goodness. And we're talking about, you know, we're excited for CJ Armstrong, what he's going to do in his rookie season. Omar Alvarez might be the person to keep an eye on for real. Oh my goodness. Who's next? Who's next? Let's see here. We got he he wait, wait a second. Oh yeah, they're both one and oh. Perfect. Winning basketball. We love to watch that. Um winning basketball. Yo, this Raptor squad. Oof. Dangerous. So isn't the 76 squad. Both of these teams went to the playoffs last season. So let's see what they do. Welcome everyone. Thanks for oh, gotta eat. tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Ooh. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from DA along the sideline all game long. It's the Toronto Raptors and the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. We've got Kawhi Leonard. Carter is out there with Tracy McGrady, and it's Bargnani, and it's Logan in at the four spot. And Leonard gets it to go. Look at the handles by Kawhi Leonard. He has worked on that part of his game. He has his defender on skates. Cunningham outside. Maxi with the screen on Leonard. Oh, this is coming. Ooh! Well, I didn't expect it to be a yam like that. To stop. To the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up. I ain't expect to be an absolute. Yeah. Oh, look, Kawhi. Here's Leonard. Eager to get it right back. Leonard's got five now. This is what Kawhi provides. 100% of effort. Loves to take it right. Same to bet. Him. Big bet. Back to Maxi. Oh, I like the vision. It wasn't quite there, but I like the vision. Just thought of it being there. Toronto with the ball. It's a three-point game. Little over a minute thirty into this first quarter. Pass to McGrady. And again, Toronto with the triple. Great vision on that pass. Kawhi moving it mm. to the open teammate. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Good evening, Kevin. Well, I did speak with Toronto's head. Yikes. He told me defensively they have to stop dribble penetration. Challenge Both of these teams, man. And generally make it difficult to Playoff get to teams. The front of the rim. They don't want to last season dunk fest three points in the east will not end in their favor guys uh raptors right, losing Banks. to Cannon, the bulls and then i think the uh 76ers taking oh, the wizards down. to a close seven game Still series just, when you just couldn't like he did, secure the dub never go with the fadeaway jumper he has to attack the rim next time Harder inside the three point line that one doesn't go now the 76 has taken the other way. After four straight makes, couldn't quite get that one to go down. Still a terrific start. Here's the screen. Oh, look at that. If he makes that, I was about to say, that was, he was fading, fading. Starting for Toronto, they won that game against Indiana. Varnani a screen on Cunningham. Malone with the steal. The 76ers trail by five. Hmm. Maxi looking it over. Embiid hmm. inside, defended by Carter. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Maxi. Hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. McGrady gets to play that. That's a bucket. Trains it from beyond the arc. That's a high percentage look when the I knew that was a bucket. fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotation, but it's worth it. Now here's Malone. Comes up empty down. Wow. Oh, I thought he. I honestly he thought he came down with that rebound over like three people. There. <laughs> He's likely to remember that one. Here's McGrady. 
No good on the triple. He's seen playing and small. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by six. Pass to Kim. Popped up there for no. Embiid. How about Shot the six? They all saw that coming. Everybody saw that coming defensively. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. One thing I like about this Raptors team, Money though, is that they're so crazy athletic. They're so crazy, like, long. I mean, Tracy McGrady's 6'9", point guard. For the three. You know, you got kick out to Cunningham. Vince Carter, who people forget, can shoot threes decently because he's such a three. good interior threat, slashing back or everything. From outside the arc. Yeah, have Kawhi Leonard, one of the better defensive shot. players in the league. And Malone's got six points. On top of that, he's got quite a solid score to convert from the New York as well. Here's Leonard. It can get it at the block like that. That's okay. And then you got Barnani who can stretch the floor. You got Kirk Logan. Look at him. Big beefy boy. And off the bench, you got people like uh, Scotty Bones. No good. Chris Bosch, all that in their prime. So I mean, yeah, it's Here's McGrady, a long athletic team. You, you see plenty of stuff like that. Vertical there, showing once again with how well he ducks the basketball. Out to the wing. The shot from 20 feet away, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Logan, the best to McGrady. He's oh, I thought he was going clean out on that. McGrady has easily seen over the defense there. It looked like he was about to fall. The stop from going out of bounds on that. Oh, right back at him. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Toronto with the ball. Three point lead. Mud Grady with the ball. Eight, Eight points Ooh. for him. Eight. Yikes. <laughs> I was wondering, like, when Cannon was going to reach in on him, you know? <laughs> he had it just kind of lingering out there. Here's Logan. Oh. Well, he got big Buford. Off him, and he <laughs> big old beefy in. boy shooting threes. Yeah, this league is off the chain. On the wing. Oh, look at Cunningham, though. He said, no three. Oh, what a block. What a block. Will the stilt, though, able to get that rebound, surprisingly, and put it back, but she cannot. And it's wide right. Yes, we are. That defensive rim. effort is there. Four. Man. Now, look at man. You got Dr. J team. coming in. You got Shays. You got uh, a lot of good talent coming and off. Or getting ready to come off the bench for. Oh, uh, make the extra pass to Cannon, no bro. Come on. He's wide open for three. Arnani inside the three point line. Mm. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Mm. And really setting the tone Shell early shot. with their three point shooting. Cannon pass to Embiid. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor, but inside is where he can really utilize that size. Oh, and hanging around. No Leonard's an elite two-way machine, but there he shows us the ice. They're gonna get every angle on that. On every. <laughs> Philadelphia with the ball. Six point game. There's a screen. Bargnani grabs the ball. Bargnani's got four rebounds in this game. Carter kicks to Stoudemire. We, we. Pass to Bargnani. Runner on the Oi. wing. Six on the shot clock. <laughs> Here's Logan. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but uh, he couldn't capitalize. Here we go. Eat. Crisscross. Uh, 
Joel's full mouse in the house. And how you do that, Joel? How you do that to yourself? All you had to do was just do a nice little post fade right over top of him. He's not doing nothing. Why you got to take it up in him? And it's a nine point Toronto lead. <laughs> Love the focus Leonard has at the heart. <laughs> they, he won't take shots. They even called a timeout on it. They were like, Wait, what did he just say? The decide to take their first timeout here. And that is a full out with 70 cylinders. ENT, everybody. Get loud for that once again. On oh, yeah. defense, Toronto. Ooh. 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 Outside Irving. Hey, uh, Julius Irving getting up there in age, but hey, it's it still ball. Step him out there and get a buggy. Every time the ball comes inside, will yeah. older in their careers, you know, they, they still, still here. They still up offensively, no scoring yet from him. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, left side oh. Bosch. Shaking him. Oh, off the glass. and the Raptors he went to by work on Shays, man. Offense already in a flow. He was a work on shooting to jump out to this thing. Oh, oh, Dr. Dre. Oh, oh, Chris. Oh, no way. Left to play in the first I was going to say. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Alice yeah. position, you can yeah, that's see what I was the was on his face. I was going to go with the three. Right. My, and again, mm. Toronto with the triple. Building up a big early lead. They, they have a huge lead right now, 12 points. Game. Play calling has been fantastic. The 76ers playoff team the last year. The opening tip. This year, you know, Allen Iverson and Irving coming out of the starting the lineup. Iverson. You know, you're getting a little long in the tooth as a team. No the fan the base. Now Toronto takes it the other you way. Know, lose this one at home. Here's Stoudemire. Even though it's just a second game of the season the for you, it's oh, that is the exact type one of those games you want to win. Offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy Jeez. in the right spot, more often than not, Jeez. you're coming away Couldn't with points. Get it going now. Look at this, Derek Whitehead. Oh, <laughs> oh, Bosh! Couldn't get it to go. I, I think that was just a bad lob, to be honest. But now, oh, oh, for three. Okay. Becoming more of a shooter in his old age. Hey, we do wide open like that. Too good to be true. You got to take it. Oh, there's Whitehead with a closing out. Cisco. The 76ers trail by nine. Out on the trail. This should be the last possession right here of the quarter. They got a chance to uh, take this to potentially, I was going to say. He's. <laughs> A six point so game, but that was not very good. Down nine. Uh, on the road, the 76ers got a big team that, uh, that are built to play, you know, later into the game. Uh, but they are getting a little old. Maybe they run out of energy and they don't complete the comeback. I'm thinking Raptors. Oh, right oh my gosh, they do by 37 points um that's wild really uh um look at the difference in free throws it's literally double it's literally double but then look at the look at the with the percentages i feel like the team it seems to be the the teams that when you look at the assists right the teams that have the bet more assists teams that pass the ball better tend to get better looks and then they stress the defense, and then they get to the free throw line more, and then it just really piles on, right? Um, you know, and really the only way to combat that is to generate extra possessions with turnovers and securing rebounds, and the 76ers didn't do it. So, you know, it's, it's it, when you when you don't do it, you end up losing by 30-plus points at home and, and embarrassing yourself. And really, I mean, they were up. 11 and a half up another seven, uh, you know, so 18. I mean, yeah, absolute blowout territory in that fourth quarter really poured it on. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if not a single person scored more than 20 points. Also, BJ Cannon going double digits in turnovers. That's like, I mean, that's bad, bad. That's <laughs> that is horribly bad. He got. 
Wilt Chamberlain getting 16 rebounds off the bench. And freaking BJ Cannon's getting 10 turnovers. Oh, that is horrible. Meanwhile, though, Tracy McGrady. <laughs> BJ Cannon's opposite here, right? Tracy McGrady, 30 points, 14 assists on one turnover, had a seal and a block as well. And then Kawhi with 29 points, three steals. You know, Bargnani with a double double. Uh, Stoudemire with nine assists off the bench. Uh, Vince Carter with eight assists. You know, they were balling out, man. These top three, four, five guys were were having a game, a field day. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm doing here. E -e -e. This game was played. Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, both one and one. Let's get it. Yo, the Spurs. Yo, you about to see a low scoring game here, guys. Just preparing you as the audience. You about to see a low scoring affair <laughs> anytime the Spurs are involved. But look at these lineups, man. Uh, the Mavericks. This was their same starting five last season. And they're wondering why they didn't make the playoffs. And it's like. I mean, I'm wondering why. You got a deep team, you know. You should be able to make the playoffs. Uh, but you got teams like the Spurs lingering around. I mean, look at this staff lineup and, and the defense that they play with that. Yeah. I, I think the Spurs are going to I would not be... Uh, Welcome, I man. Thanks for joining 2K Sports for a the Spurs Friday night got full of upset. NBA action. Hi Both everyone, I'm Brian one. Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Perry. Man's getting a good win on the road, though, to, uh, Ali LaForce on the sideline. <laughs> to start the season, I mean, Tony Parker, Spurs bro, just, <laughs> facing the what Dallas was that, bro? All right, let's that man literally San dribbled Antonio through and scored over Shoot. three people. The shot by Kent, no good. Just, just, just leave his way in and out, you know. Doncic against Parker. Now you got That's the Duncan. Oh, look, mouse in the house, man. Bam. His first bucket of the game. Well, once Duncan gets the ball, the defense trying Spurs to be physical. Spurs have consistently been the best defensive once, team twice, maybe six in the league. Nobody nine. allows He's fewer points. Still getting uh, or no one, kid, no, good. no one holds teams to fewer points. There we go. And here's Leonard. Uh, than the Spurs. Um, I think over the past three seasons, and like, they've had averages of, like, quarter. one, Parker. 15. No good from outside. Points. He got his defender. But for this lead, the pump fake, but yeah, we our flyers for an offense. We're going to see buckets. Um, good On the quality way, Thompson, buckets. Leonard defending. You know. And the shot no good. A bit short. Yeah. For this lead, 115 points a game. Is, is a low, low number. He can't release that one you know. on target. And then they hold teams to about 115 for four. You know, to start this one. They're not just the best and defensive possession. team in the league. I mean, last year they were the best team in the West. Um, because on top of just being over a minute and a half played here in this team, one. They, they push the pace on turnovers. They Thompson drain Leonard. the clock offensively. They, they really take their time and wear people touch down. The glass. Offensively, to the effort there um, on the boards, never willing to give you know, up on possession. Finding again, ways turnovers, steals, blocks, you know, securing rebounds. They're all about it. They just the differential. Uh, it's tremendous. I think they led the league no in point differential. Yeah, it's Dallas the other way. No, but that was last season, right? They got eliminated uh, the Western Conference Finals by the Suns. They went on to lose to the Bulls. So, you know, this this year, and, that, and the previous year, they were the best defensive team in the league. But got eliminated by the Rockets. Uh, Upset by Rockets, who went on Just to win it all. Like, to bother you know, passes to Leonard. Uh, this year they're, they're wanting to change that. They're going to come out. They're going to set the tone. They're going to have another great season. And, the and then they got to finish strong. Bucket. That's the message yeah, this year. For the Spurs. Looking like a well-oiled machine. Definitely got no problem starting. Tell you that. Dipped away. Spurs. <laughs> Eight, two and right here, forcing a jump ball. ball. Although I think Dirk is <laughs> not worried. About his jump ball odds here. It's Cliff so Samuels. Although, I mean, bro, come on, dog. 
you dirt. You can't be losing the jump ball to him like that. And look at Jason Kidd. He's going cold. Parker, no good. Parker unable to make a pay. Oh, Ben Thompson. His brother is served. Ooh. And they recover it. Doing well with the with the Lakers. Their careers are going to be ooh, interesting to watch as they go along. Elite passing skills and court vision. Doncic is an advanced distributor for his age. He is able to get himself uh, off the off the ice block. Right back with their own three, three, three but Parker's got seven. Not still just the six. accuracy in the quarter. Hey, look, it's just watch, watch the Spurs on the defensive side. Getting him on this nice roll. Look at that. Look at closing him out like that, bro. Most teams they're not closing out like that. And in that foul, he's actually a smart foul. Because he's in no man's land there. He's got no business being there. He has no clue where he's guarding. It's better to foul him than reset on defense. Now they got to not allow points here. Otherwise, that's going to be a bad foul. Thompson outside. I mean, dude, look at that, bro. Most people coming off that screen are wide open. On the shooter there. Not when you play the Spurs. And the fact that Tim Duncan gets to defend that and then gets the tip and gets the rebound and then comes back and gets the tip off the alley-oop, now he gets to shoot. Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the To make this a three-point play. Inexcusable. But why are you cocking his legs like that? And he gets it done. Here's Thompson. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To the paint. Here's Doncic. He's now one for two with that bucket. Fearless play by Doncic in the paint. Ready to do whatever it takes to find his shot. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. to Duncan. Now Parker. Having his way. Ooh, totally it. Man, man, four just, for six from the floor. Oh man, this would be a different ball game been if they didn't have this type of scoring to <laughs> rely that. on. We? Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, nice We're all going from him on that man, drive. Man. Uses his body well. He just takes turns going cold. Here's Kid. Here's Thompson. Oh no. That doesn't Kawhi. go either for Thompson. As uh, uh, men Thompson shooting, they've got to run plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls. Anything they can do to get him started. Oh, Tony. Oh. To extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. The Mavericks are fortunate to not have to pay for that. Backluster defense. Dirt. Maybe he's going to try to will himself, will the team. And he got the whistle on By the himself. And yeah, so he'll, he'll be headed to the line it. for a pair. And let's take hey, a moment to get one. your take, guys. Last season's 20 points so far for the Spurs. Games. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been league, so far. Their passing has been 15. simply outstanding. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. So you know he is, looks, those are playing off. I think the Spurs know that as well when they're great fine with that. At the Maybe they don't strike, want to foul there. You've got to be no. careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Tony Parker already. Right with now. The Tony Parker has Give more him points than the entire the Here's Dallas Kidd. Mavericks. After the basket team. by San Antonio, right all of the members on the Dallas outside. Mavericks currently in the court. Dallas again missing. Tony Parker has more points than all of them. San Antonio leading. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's bad. That's bad. Look at him Parker. going for more. Mavericks with the rebound. Well, you got to miss either. sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Yo, if you're the Mavericks, Thompson outside. you got to slow down, free. take a breather, that one not do count. that, man. So the Spurs will take it the other way. One thing about the Spurs team is that they like to slow down, right? They like to Here's take Parker. their time on offense. They like to Off use from three -point the range. majority Parker's of the shot clock. Just one for four from deep. Ooh. Here's Kid. And Doncic outside. Ooh. Puts it up. Gets a very good look and converts. And they were wild on playing good defense. Doncic so he's got a second yeah, basket. Yeah. Just know, pure shooting talent. Missed a ton of shots. But you're only down. He's got touch seven points here. And supreme Slow confidence. it down. Over to the left Try wing. Work for the good shots. And look at that. Now they're able to get set. 
able to play a little bit of defense themselves. Here's now they got to slow it down. Oh, oh man. So you don't go for a there. Excellent defense and on the Spurs. And then <laughs> Tony yes, Parker just good. whipped on right 13. on by him. Flat out taking the game over. And Jason Kidd no might as well not even be on the give it up. He's, he's outside. virtually been extinguished. Rebounded by Offensively Kawhi and defensively. And so by it's the Spurs. San Antonio with oh. it. They've got a See, look at how he assesses this matchup and then bam. He drops it from range. Kawhi had it, had it scouted. The game. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the now intensity. Look, now they're going to Thompson. Looking a little loose out there right now. Looking for something. The any sort of change up. Over. And it's a completely new group here for the Mavericks. Yeah, they're going complete platoon swap. Eric Harper, Here's Christian Harper. Wood. Uh, you got to a few Fires young players. Uh, yeah. Mashburn. Rebounded Ooh. by the Spurs. And then a few guys he drafted this year, I believe, right? Here's so, Ginobili. The defender oh. found himself in the well, wrong got position. Well, Trust me, with Manu, that then, yeah, I think that guy is the kind of draft the line. First one falls for him. Who's that guy? That one misses. James, whatever his name is. He's, Dallas with possession. He's a rookie. Trailing by 13. Bench, so. The Spurs team. Yeah, it's better Spurs team guys with athleticism do these kind of things. You got Ginobili, you got love to see George him get Kervin, up like you got Larry Kennan, you got Kevin Johnson. Uh, and then you got the Outside rookie from last year, Curry, who has been <laughs> fantastic. He not only does he stretch the floor, but he still gets boards, he and still admit, goes up, he still buys into this exception. defensive philosophy that the Spurs have embraced. He's definitely ball. David Robinson gets it's over. It's a 14-point game. He's going to be a guy to look out for. James, outside. Oh, we're going to try to go. Wire. No, 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 no. That's that. Oh, he just deboed him. He said, what ball? Here's Keenan. Boy, he's <laughs> been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. They're going to hit Genome in the corner. Pass to Genome. Yeah. The free he's ball. <laughs> man. And again, it's San Antonio. They caught him ball watching, man. Building a he was big advantage in toward the paint just a little bit, just a little bit. Well, if I was making up splattered the lead, on the outside. Two ingredients. Shoot one that, Mark. What are you doing? The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Mark it wire. What? A, I know it's a mid-range shot, but you're wide open. Pass to Ginobili. You got to take Keenan. Him. Now Here's we might actually get into by rare early and sim territory. Right through. Jeez, Boy, please, I like please. their energy coming in. <laughs> terrific <laughs> execution so far. No well, finger roll there. Boxes to check in terms if they of the get up 21 tonight, points, not 21 with ball, it's 21 points at all. Man, here sim the is, and, uh, they're not going to get up 21 here. Bam. Mark Mark. Mark. Okay, so you're going to take that shot. Easy look but you were wide, wide open. The coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some something. effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Johnson. Who knows? 40. Oh, oh, I mean, look at that. Perfectly placed pass. He's, 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 got five. he's balling. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. I mean, it's not even really about Here's their defense. Harper. Their offense isn't generating anything. First basket still in this one. Look here. I mean, if they go down and score this, uh, one thirty-three left in the first quarter. Puts here. them up twenty. Here. Here. Throws it up high. Oh. And stolen by Wood. Like literally, the Mavs are fighting to avoid the skunk by James up top. Here's Harper. Oh wow. Ginobili, it's easy Kirvin. transition, oh, oh, bucket for Irvin. One more and point, nice and we're gonna sim Great this. Anticipation and possibly quick like a Ginobili goal. able to get his team five seconds early. Really. Oh wow, goes. count it. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. That so three, that's the three, right? Work in the half court. What you got Inside. there? Inside, picked it out of midair. Now, Mavs actually got. Breathing a little life paint. right here. Oh, Lazy. oh, that was nice. Oh, what a pass! Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they definitely run in practice. Pass to Gervin. To the left side wing. Just five to shoot. 
140. Oh, oh, over the are top. you kidding me? Wow! Amazing! Man, they've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight mm. has paid dividends. Too highly bad. effective oh. down there with the physical. At this point, they're scared to shoot, now, even when they're open. They don't. They don't know. Oh wow, well, it's a no, but that's yet, a free. I'm sure that'll change. Free run. Good on the bucket. Wow. And San Antonio leads by 20. And just Eight. totally relentless. 20 point. Oh, wait. The intensity level. A 17 the point game. Go to right now, to <laughs> At the end of away. the first quarter. This dude is capable of some memorable oh. moves. <laughs> he almost made that, man. 17 point game. Yeah, I, I think that the Spurs have this one. He's well in hand. Yeah. Held them to 92 points. Held them below 100 points. Outscored them by almost 50 points. Outscored them by almost more points than, like, all, think about it. Outscored them by almost more than half the points that they scored. That that's that's crazy. We don't even need to see how they did it. You can just see that the Mavs have an abysmal percentage all over the floor. Only went to the line to for a total of four attempts at the line. So not only did they hold them to abysmal percentages, they did it clean. And look at the rebounds. Now on the boards, look at the turnovers. Almost double. And then the points off of turnovers. They push the pace when they have the turnovers. Um, you know, they absolutely bullied them. Had their way with them. I mean, that's... Surprisingly, Luka had 20 points. It's like a quarter of the team's points for Luka's. And then it ends there. Oh, wait. Maurice Weaver had double-digit rebounds, which is actually pretty good. You know, going up against Tim Duncan and Dave Robinson. <laughs> double-digit rebounds. No slouch. Two blocks. Um, but that's it. That's the only two good things that happened in this entire game. You maybe can throw a little note to Derek Harper for eight assists, you know, off the bench. But the, that's it. Tony Parker, though, <laughs> had 13 points in the first quarter, and he kept it going. I mean, he had 22 points. He had nine rebounds as a point guard. Elite numbers for anybody, but as a point guard, very impressive. Had 11 assists, a steal, two blocks, only one turnover on the night. I mean, he, he was getting everything, doing everything. Dave Robinson had 22 points as well, and a steal and two blocks as well. Uh, literally, Tony Parker out-rebounded Dave Robinson. Tim Duncan had a double-double with multiple blocks. Kawhi Leonard had eight rebounds. Look, look at all the steals and the blocks that everybody's getting. Everybody had at least one steal or one block. And then you had people like Mono Ginobili with three steals. Phil Johnson with two. And Hook Purdy with three blocks. I mean, every, everyone but people like deep off the bench. George Gervin didn't have a steal or block. Havel Kafka, the rookie, didn't have a steal or block. That's it. Everyone else had a steal or block. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to excuse myself and go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Matter of fact, let me. Let me.
We back. Get that back on. Get it on and popping. We back. <laughs> we got next. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Russell Westbrook doing everything for him. Um, Fat Lever doing everything. <laughs> he doing the scoring and the passing. He passing it to himself. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be. That's a, that's an anomaly. I don't think that's gonna stick. Neither I think uh, Russell Westbrook leading OKC in, in rebounds is gonna stick. But you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> I hope I'm not for the sake of their team. But I could be wrong. Uh, you know, Pat Bryant, he's got to come into his own. I think Thunder, yeah, they picked up a dub. But this season, I think it's going to be shaky for him. They're just trying to make the playoffs at all costs and hope that Pat Bryant can develop as the year. They're going to, they're chucking him straight into the fire. They're going to see what they got in him now. Meanwhile, the Nuggets, same starting five, you know, keep, Keep it pushing. Keep it moving. They brought in a little bit of youth, a lot of youth, uh, off the bench. They're looking to be devastating this season. Uh, Thanks for joining us here on Jay Jay Sports did. for NBA Basketball. The Nuggets were this is Kevin Harlan uh, with Clark going through a rebuild after not making the playoffs last season for the first line. time in this it's the dynasty. the Denver Nuggets facing the Oklahoma City But really, City they Thunder. have they were already ahead of it. They, they really they've got Nikola aren't Lincoln. even rebuilding. They're just they're just, they're just building. Then it's Anthony and it's English and it's the power forward and it's Jokic missing. Starting for Denver, they won that game against the Trailblazers. Ooh, Here's oh, Harden. oh, Harden well, we know what James Harden weaves his way in and out of traffic. Still got to appreciate that dime there. Very impressive. The That's three from Anthony. Mellow for three. Man, he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity. Mellow for three. Deep. When you had, uh, and now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get have a report David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. I was English. One of them wide the open in the corner. Coach. He still he took that. He knew it was an excellent defense. <laughs> He's been planning ways to get around that. He oh, said Mello, it won't Mello, be Mello, easy. Mello. We have to fight for every right. basket. But this is our first I mean, KD is there, and he does have fantastic they closeout speed. There you go. Now it's Mello. Bam. That, well, we're going to have to adjust back. Three, and three, pays off better, Kevin. three. Back to you. And three. Right, David, sounds like they're plotting and, 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 and three and three and three and three. Pretty stingy defense. Yeah. And three and, and three and three and three and three. My back and forth to be predictable. And, you know that means not only does the ball have to move, but players have to move. Mm -hmm. the yeah. From loading up players have to move. Oh, oh. the KD. Well, oh. with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Oh, Pat Bryant. Now here's Bryant. Not a matchup you want. You just want him to not be a defensive liability at the stage. But Thompson with the rebound. Yeah, what, what was that? Y'all did. Did y'all draw the play for him? And they cleared out for him and everything. To the inside. Here's English. Oh, KD with the foul. Coming up as well. That's a pretty soft foul, if you ask me. Right there to get that shot Look, hold up here. Look at this. And he's got his first chance I mean, I don't even think he touched him, bro. I think he kind of stepped out into him a little bit, but I mean, come on, bro. English is already fading that way. It's not like, I don't know. That's, the free throw that's tough for English. Tough one to call. <laughs> Here's Harden. Especially here at OKC. Fans get a little mad at Outside Bryant. Turd. Pass to Westbrook. Oh, he can put that with it. Here's the oh. three. And oh, the just over Mello. Boy, his timing is just perfect. Just shoot over him. That's all you got to do. On catch and shoot opportunities. Yo, just kicks to shoot English. Over. Passes to Lever. Jokic with it. And here's Anthony for three. Ooh. And again, Denver with the triple. And he taking those threes, bro. Like, kind of close. And you got, like, Thompson, Thompson and like, English just wide open in the wings. <laughs> in the corner. And he's like, nah, I'm going to take this three. And, and make it. That time on the assist by Harden. 
And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. Melo coming out saying One that he, he going to get his. Fire three of your own. Oh, look at this. Boom. Back to Melo. Here's Weaver. No? Ooh. Leaves it up off the glass. And by the way, I'm fully Here's aware that it's pronounced Fat Lever. Exactly. But come guys, on. The way it you name your child Fat Lever. Unbelievable. I don't now care if it is Lever. It's Lever. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Fat Lever. Here's the Ooh. three point of the ball. Westbrook's got nine points. Is it fat? Boy, and that's a lead. big deal for Westbrook because when he starts to knock down shots from distance, <laughs> oh, no, KD he really baited him. opens up his full bag. He knew he was taking greedy shots. He's like, you know what? Let's just bait him into one. He goes out on the middle early. Westbrook kicks to Harden. Good. Oh. This is from Westbrook. He has seven. That's a dozen. Uh, Harden came free, like, watch that screen. You know, but, like, just a little bit, though. I didn't think he was free enough to actually shoot that. Oh, Jokic. From D. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of the road. And it's Harden with the ball guy like Jokic spread the floor. Pass to Bryant. And he's also a fully play point. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Like, fully play point. This is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's all to be honest, I don't know why they don't have him do more of this. So I think I think I actually had to change his standing like the first of the game game for the Nuggets. But he is Because, yeah, they had him playing more at that point. So it's Denver now. They could really could Trailing teams. by five. Lieber passes to English. Kicks to Carmelo. Ooh. They get a hand oh. on Westbrook with the steal. Oaked it. Knowing Melo's going to be greedy Three with it. Just inside the line. Mm. Again, the Thunder score. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very oh, high wow. percentage so Mop. far. And if you want to start a, a game bucket. hot, that's the way to do it. <laughs> you know, he's got to be exasperated bucket. right now, fellas. That's I mean, some over. excellent ball, but they're still losing. Look at him. I'll call him for a screen. This is a bucket. It's 100% a bucket. Mop. Oh, my goodness. The pass out of that at the last oh, second. Inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Uh, when he gets going, going like that, he's throat. unstoppable. Now's the time to do it. Keep Ooh. attacking that rim. Uh, Anthony, a perennial all-star talent. Why is take over yet, man? He's got, what, 14, 15 ability, points? One of the best in the business. Now, here is Harden. Oh, look at this. He's got seven. Look at this. Rest book. That's E right here. Oh. Oh, I guess it's, it's all hard. Westbrook's just a distraction. Oh, the step back. Are bad, but that three is off the mark. Could be deadly. Eat. Oh. Lever kicks to Jokic. Off target with his three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't High count on suit him to help. continue missing. The pass to Westbrook. And Westbrook about to eat him. About to eat him up. Pass to Harden. Oh. Bryant with a screen on Thompson. Oh, that's a fade. <laughs> oh, Harden's got ten. Wow, he was fading, fading. Fade. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope mm. they start cooling. Oh, up. that one drops for him. And he's mellow. Six of eight, the 16 is, points on the night. Oklahoma City I don't know why they worded it like that. Can they? And they ride the bike. Get back this one for that three. Oh, Harden, no good. Here's Denver now. The wide open oh. look here for Anthony. Uh, I'm about Rebound to say, to we everybody just fade, huh? Everybody, everybody just slide and left and to the right. Do the whole dang on cha cha slides. He hits the back oh, iron and sinks the shot. Boy, that's an example of Durant's basketball IQ and awareness, both platinum level. Mm. Lever oh, 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 poke the ball three. Oh, away. Durant. With the awareness, able to get that. And eat. KD against Lever. Oh, shots good by Durant. <laughs> Watch out now. When this guy Everybody gets into a rhythm, on fade. it is something to behold. He's a perfect three for three. There's Lever with the three. Oh. Oh, that's actually no still there. The defense, no like, three. The screen, man. Myers passes to Harden. Harden, now. Oh, they got a mismatch here for sure. Launches yep. a three. That's Mop. it. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a high. He knew they had it. They knew they had it. Seven. I don't know why his defender didn't step up. Why Jokic felt like he had to be the one defending. Oh, and that jam by Anthony.
Anthony. Carmelo Anthony imposing his will inside. Doesn't take any time. Rising up for the dunk. The three from Houghton. Ooh. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Now he's just yeah, that's scorching back up. To back three. The threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Carmelo's Jokic looking for it. Another fading. Yep. <laughs> fading mid-range shot. Hit. He, with yeah, David Thompson wide open in the corner. It's, it's really been a struggle. I just want to point that out. He is, I mean, back. maybe not wide open because Harden is close enough to close out. But it's a much better shot than what he took. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution mm. so far. Ooh. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come wow, in. Wow, they're going they're at each other. Impressive so far. And an eye for her. Okay, see, he's really going out. 42 points before. already in the Nothing quarter. Like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. I didn't even realize that they were up like this. Oh, look at Oh, wow. He's got 15. Classic play that time by Westbrook, making space. The pick and roll to create for his team. Well, now gets trailed right by 15. Anthony with the screen Thanks. on Westbrook. Oh, look at KD. Nowhere at that defense. That's to Harden. Oh, he fouled. No. No. I don't think there's anybody better than Harden. Converting through contact. He's superb in that area because he's crafty. Let's see if he can convert it here. Skill. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Uh, they look to the four-point play. The arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. Now here's Murray. I mean, Let's the Nuggets are pretty <laughs> much. Jeez. Yo, Sean Kent was laying it out on the line. I mean, at this point, you can't really do anything wrong if you're OKC. I mean, you're on pace for 200 points. This game. The Thunder have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Shea Gilgis Alexander checked in for Oklahoma City. Yeah, that one I mean, gives them a plus five rebound advantage. Kevin. Yeah, pretty you're clear. on pace for 200 They're points. They're dominating that like, area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so it's far. It's hard to lose more 50 points a quarter. And it's hard to win giving up 50 points a quarter. And there's the pass to Murray. You know, the Nuggets are all the beat the trifecta. Here. This is Murray's game. Really, Shoot truly. first combo guard who's ready to fire as soon as he has it. Murray against Baker. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Now Allen. He'll just Alexander can't get it to go. Points, man. Else in the past so moment. wild. Now Jackson. So they need this one here to avoid the stun. It's Murray crazy they drop it deep, but it's also crazy they're not. They drop it deep, they're not stun. That's what's crazy. For his he lobs up the alley John Kim on a, the receiving end of an alley -oop. One thing you can say about Kim, you know it's butter, you know it's cold. For him to go get. Oh, Murray, another three oh. for Denver. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively okay. from the triple. Four I mean, the they still gave up 40 points this game. It's hard for me but to watch this. I mean, the defense practically well, they scored them those 56. Standing start from three point range. Their shooters are on fire. It really makes them a hard team to guard because they space I mean, the Nuggets so are well. literally doing nothing defensively. He's still scoreless so far in this one. They've been beating them to a lot of those. And it makes you think, like, and but the only reason they have 40 yeah, offensively is because they just had so many possessions. Really <laughs> As a result of OKC scoring, look at that. Even still in a miscommunication, a broken play. They turned that into points. Oh, my goodness. Get something here. Just to get the 40 mark. Oh, okay. Down 20. In the first quarter, 58 point, and they're literally on pace to score. It's eight times four, 32, 232 points. This this game. Let's see what the sim does. Here. If we get a 200 point game, I'd be.
crazy. Somehow they only scored 140 points. I've seen teams do like 160 in this before. Like crack 160. I'm so very, very, very surprised that they didn't crack 160. And I kind of want to see actually how this only became a, a five point game. Um, oh, well, that'll do it. So the second quarter was just flat. <laughs> And so their whole lead basically evaporated, and it was just a seven-point lead, right? A half, six-point lead, a half. And then they get another three points, so yeah, nine-point lead going into the fourth. I mean, basically a, a blowout, but it probably didn't feel like it after the second quarter. <laughs> uh, swung drastically into the Nuggets' favor. They really tightened up on defense, but it, was just, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. If they would have had a normal quarter and saw that second quarter, the Nuggets would have won this game. That's how crazy this game was. And just look at the difference, like, for everyone. The Nuggets had 100 shot attempts. Like, the rebounds, the extra possessions they generated, the extra chances they had were huge, but they just weren't able to take advantage of it. You know, and the Thunder was able to count counter it with the trips to the line and just shooting higher percentages, just getting those passes, you know, making those, taking those better shots, really. Um, I want to see what Mello ends up dropping, finishing the night with 25, so he definitely fell off a little bit after the first quarter. Jeffries with 19 off the bench. Good to see, you know, if you're a Nuggets fan, they just drafted him this year, so that's, you know, they're looking up. But outside of that, there's really nothing to brag about in this performance. Carmelo Anthony almost willed this team to a victory tonight. I mean, your starting center only has three rebounds. That's a problem. James Harden, 35 points. Uh, 8 of 14 from beyond New York. Had six assists. Uh, and then Durant had 20 points with eight assists. No turnovers on that. Westbrook had nine assists with no turnovers. Ray Allen had 19 off the bench, only missing three shots on the night. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, good, good, good stuff all around. No one really doing anything else crazy, but yeah, just the points that they put up were absolutely ridiculous in that first quarter. Man, they were unstoppable. And we have, uh, nope, ah, two zero and one teams. So Charles Barkley, uh, doing it all for the Suns. Carl Malone doing it all for the Jazz. Although we did make a, a switch. Pete Maravich is now playing the point. John Stockton at six one. The two K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. So, great to have you with us. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, so and the fourth see member what, of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. And this it's jazz the Phoenix squad. Suns taking on the Utah Jazz. All right, now the to be honest, I think defensively can help him because he merits his liability. Tries again. Jeez, look at Barkley. Look at Barkley, bro. Did everything but come up with the points there, and then you get Pete the chance to, to lead fast breaks. Pete gets the chance to come out and do this thing. Ooh. Oh, Charles. Charles Barkley, though. And they're pushing it up. Dude, Here's Charles Booker. Barkley has been Phoenix literally playing like either. MVP level play these past few seasons. Of course, Jordan has, has been the league MVP. Uh, I think LeBron was league MVP the year before. Yeah, and then the arc. wide open. Nails it from three. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Swapping? He marriage? And. Here in the first, a little over a minute. Know, so far. Just, you know, a couple oh, points in. in, in the but it's already looking better. On his way to the line. It's looking more organic. And that one misses. One of the most impressive things about Devin Booker has been his consistency. Look at that. This guy it's is good. productive, Ooh. and he is willing to carry the offensive burden. Their guards have carried the offensive load. With the way they perform, they've got the green light to shoot whenever there's an open. I don't open. think that the Suns were, were expecting the switch. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling opportunities. 
has to have. Look, oh yeah, Beats probably operates Here's better the off the screen anyway. Oh. And again, it's oh, no. oh, 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 baby. This guy reads oh, baby. situation so well, and he knows how to execute. <laughs> Pass to Booker. Yabi, whatever his name was. And about two minutes into the first He's quarter, a, uh, gives to the wing, right something side. that Adrian Daly did, and that's an outside. Takes a three. Another Ooh. three for Phoenix. I will say this is good of a defender as John Stockton. Mr. Booker was. put it back it to is. the three-point answer. Uh, Here's Maravich. Ooh. And again, it's and six one. He is drastically outside. Shooting guard. But I still think he's probably a better defender and shooting guard than Pete Maravich was. So. Pass to Booker. And the hmm. Suns getting another bucket right there. Yeah, he, like he is getting lost in the sauce. And a little over two but also it is Devin Booker. Here in the first. Oh, here's Maravich. Where is he? I mean, free throws. He was fouled in the you give Pete that opportunity. He doesn't right, normally well, get. Look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Utah. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Mm. And he can't hit the second. He didn't grab that one. It seems. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. And then with this look, see, now Stockton has been switched up on the bar not really something that would normally happen in that point shot. guard spot. Three. Oh, a clean block. Now you got Maravich and, and Stockton look. on both sides. As from downtown. <laughs> Yikes. The three ball to go. And Maravich, they both cut in. Maravich has approach. the opportunity. Early, Stockton realizes it, shoots off. out to they know the three that if this guy line. Goes off, their chances of winning rise If rolls are reversed there, I don't know if that happens. Here's Maravich. And there's the lob. Oh, oh wow. Joe's <laughs> Berkeley came flying in. Dodgy in the post. Charles Berkeley. Outside for Booker. The offensive rebound. We're soaring. The We're flying. Just taking it right to the rim. High school and musical no style, there to man. I think to get that freaking break up. the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage mm. looks. Oh, that doesn't bad. typically end mm. well. Don't give Pete Maravich that opportunity. Don't ever do that. Man. Don't ever disrespect him like that. That's Pistol Pete, baby. Here's Nash. That man died on the court. Oh, look at him. Still Phoenix Poking the ball free. True story. Look it up. Look it up. Pete Maravich. If you, if for those of you watching, for those of you youngins. For three. Google, man. Pete Maravich died on the court. Bro. Booker's got ten. Died well, doing what he loved. You, this guy is doing everything he died for to the get game. Where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Pass to Malone. <laughs> yeah, Malone not to stretch four or five. <laughs> he has six. Shot clock at six. Really be oh, Maravich. Pete, don't don't do that to him. I'm about to, to say that would have been that nasty. Is off the mark. To be Here's honest, Najee. they're putting up a lot of Here's points Booker. on the Suns team. Who Second was chance a effort. And that's two solid points defensive the team last year. The defense getting out hustled um, on second the Second best back. defense Can't in the, in the league last season. You have season. got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it at And you're on pace to put 40 up on the quarter here. Ooh. Maravich with the bucket. Yeah, yeah they're going to take their time out. The last that. game has carried over to tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're getting giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Timeout call, the Suns. Here's Nash. I'll be honest, this works. Right wing. We might switch him. Oh, the Hawks, so we might make Pete. Phoenix. This is as Point pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Yeah, I want every team to be the best. They set the pick. Ooh. Pass to Malone. Ooh. It's Jeez. Pedro Saramago What's up a three? didn't leave him much of an opportunity there. And Steve Nash able to get that agenda wow. in. How about the start to this game? And just like that, they went from down five to up everything one. The defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Think of it all. Here's Maravich. That's a, that's all. He's got 13. 
and jump, he started exactly to go cold. You want taking that shot. He's streaky, he man. That's one three. thing I will say Booker. about him. Oh, look at that. The rebound by Malone. Utah here trailing here. Why, why is Carl Malone running your offense? On the left. That, see, that's why you don't have him on your offense. Here's Nash. They're He's very lucky. Oh. You could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes that, to pull that off. He didn't just run away with that, but <laughs> he came out of nowhere. He just kind of and they appears out of thin air. Oh, wow. Fires in the triple. He's got 16. We got ourselves a game. This guy is putting his fingerprints all We got ourselves a game. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Come on, Barkley. Take a three. Booker. Shoots from the line, mm. and he hits the jumper. <laughs> and Phoenix Ooh, leads by two. Points? And their offensive game plan is clear. Yeah, they're doing a Get thing. Get inside and go to work. Here's Stockton. Deflected. Oh, so far, I thought he got that amongst the trees. Point for them. Oh, oh, here's oh. Nash. Oh, and it falls oh. for him. He's that was tough. He's first four attempts. Yeah. Nash and breaking down some numbers out. here, the hustle stats for Phoenix. Well, their Ooh. length and anticipation I mean, yo, reflected Stockton. in their shot blocking total. I'm sure he got a Making finger the over. extra effort to close things out. It's good in effect. Another thing they're doing right out of the games tonight, applying a ton of defensive pressure. And the Jazz with possession here. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Oh, look at that. Hello. That's a, oh, Carl Malone. There you go. I was going to say, don't, don't let the team down like that. Oh, Made some oh my. defensive effort by Najee and that's his Sarah Mago, right, but... Chasing down the board. Oh, wow. That's a big what about the decisive finish? Great Steve timing, Nash. Tremendous force. <laughs> Had Pete Maravich on the skates there. He's the team looking to return In a favor now. Quarter, they were up five. Special. Now they're down five. Timeout called. The Jazz. Big run. Like literally a 15 to 5 run, I think. Why, why can I skip? So one? Utah ends up going with a new group, and the Suns also making a change. Johnson, he's checked in for Devin Booker. Phoenix on D, leading by five. Oh. Now we got Outside, a whole Williams. squad for the Jazz here. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, yeah, that was a my, oh, my. That was block. textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Love that view, 2K. Love that view. But we don't have to swap. Outside For the Suns, the only person on the bench rejected. that's in right now is... Then it's the Johnson. And the finish on the break. Yo, Pedro with the block <laughs> and then took the it coast to coast, bro. Power. Tremendous finish. Pass to Hayward. Hmm. Back to Williams. Yo, the if I'm the Jazz here, Already I take it slow. Try not to foul out. Margin. Najee, he's I mean, looking good. Out, try not Two to foul. And three attempts. Hey, try to, try to just try to take it slow. They need to push the time to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a bench. score. Yeah, That's absolutely. You know, Here's Rand Williams. Through. Pass to Hayward. Bye. Back to Simmons. The starters for the Suns here. Williams from oh, wow, Williams. another block. Hand on it. He's absolutely dogging Williams people. Defending. Right. He's doubled, so someone is, yep, wide open. Energy from the opening tip. Well, you set the tempo say they're doubling early, Barkley. and when you get command and control of a game, it's perfect. Well, it was a little bit of a game Last there. Yeah. Sun starters Simmons. showing you why they're starters. Well, you love the unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think Only of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific bench. setup guy as well. Here's Johnson. Airline well, he hasn't all the way put the up any points head. yet in this one. Six to shoot. Barkley. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, I can say. You get him oh, they still got the rebound. Three. And it is Johnson for three. For three. For he stopped on a dunk. He got that one. Wow. Start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Griffin. Oh, a steal. 
steal. Johnson this is going to be. I'm going to say that. The pass to Naji. I like how Charles Barkley said trying to go up for that, though. Just let the pass out. Nice little reset. Here's Nash. Four on and the clock. Got another opportunity here. That's going to be a bucket, another too. basket for Phoenix. Yeah, their aggressive Good approach jazz. on you the take advantage of the has created second all chance opportunities. Let's slow it down. Williams finds it. You guys only have a limited amount of minutes. So I'm gonna play all night. It's rebounded by Naji. Naji's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Johnson. 52 seconds left in the first. Watch. Off the screen. Well, I don't Here's Nash. Oh. Fires the three. Ooh. Oh. Three Buzzer three. beater. This defense just can't stay Andrew connected Saramago to shooters. Andrew actually been, been out here doing some work, man. Been Here's a takeover. Griffith. Now Nash is a takeover. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Hayward. crowd is going completely silent. To stop the run. Williams from long range. Oh, missing his first three great three there. He drains it. One for four. Hey, you got Steve Nash and take over here. Say there's no shot clock. This should be the last shot Here's here Nash. off the screen. Preferably. points in the game. Yep. Oh, oh, that was the fake screen. Oh, he's going to give it to Barkley. And that's the first quarter. That was weird. Up. That was very weird. Um, up <laughs> 14 on the road. I'd be very surprised if the Jazz came back and won. But hey, man, home court advantage does that sometimes. Right. <laughs> home court advantage does that sometimes, man. Um, what? <laughs> what happened? Um, okay, they kind of gave it up a little bit back. Okay, but they're still up seven at half. Okay, they're still up four into the fourth quarter, and then they just plummeted. Probably because everyone's on a fixed rotation and the Jazz took their starters out early. And so their starters probably finished the game while the Suns starters had to sit probably a good portion of the fourth out. And that ended up, you know, leading to the difference you see here, which was just enough for them to win the game. Maybe that was their entire game plan. Um, but they got to the line. They shot well. The passing was crisp, which is something you don't really hear me say from the from the Jazz very often. And they played without turnovers. That's really something that you don't hear me say about this Jazz team in this dynasty very often, is that they played without turnovers. Uh, like, they won the turnover differential against a team that was second defense in the league last season. So, I mean, it's a big win for the Jazz. Um, Saramago dropped 34 points and had 11 rebounds and four blocks. Looker had 28 points. Charles Barkley had a triple double. And Nash still had went six to nine, still had eight assists. And then you had Najee still had three blocks. I mean, no one really did anything bad here other than Charlie Scott. You know, went one of six, and uh, I mean, Charles Barkley did go four of 13. Uh, abysmal performance in that first quarter. But really, Pete with 27 points, eight assists, this is the performance we want from him. Shooting on a high clip of efficiency here. And Stockton, four of six, perfect four of four from me on the arc. That's what we, a nine assist. It's what we want from him. Two steals. Two steals from Pete as well. Carl had nine rebounds and 26 points. Danley had 18 off the bench. Kalabali, whatever Bluff his name is, had good numbers as well. I mean, everybody got involved. Everybody ate. Everyone was better with Pete at the point and Stockton as shooting guard. So, hey, they won't stick with it. That, that kind of has me wondering, like, hold up, wait a second. I mean, Trey Young, 6 1. Why, why can't he play? Shooting guard while, while Pete plays. Point, you know?
Uh, you still have an okay young guy here, you know. You, yeah, you're gonna need some shooting guard. You don't need a point guard here, here, but you know. You're gonna need a small forward eventually, you know, but it's fine. Actually, while, while we're here, he, we might as well, because he's 6'4". He, sure, he, and look, he's even better at shooting guard. There we go. Look at that. Now what you do, mop, mop. I mean, let's change it up. Let's see what the Hawks do. Wait, he, 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 and that actually gives Murray more time. Right? Oh, wait, wait a second. Look at that. Oh, that is stepping on somebody's toe, so should actually you it should actually be like this. What you do is you come down here, you go to this guy, and make him a small forward. And look, he gets better. The whole team gets better when Pete Maravich is at the point. Now I'm excited to see a Hawks game. For sure. What's she doing back there? Yeah, because they lost that last one. Yeah, what was that box score like? He married. I mean, yeah, I think I think that they could they could they could swing that. I think. I think for sure. Um, oh. Oh, that's that's the day right there. teams that are 2-0 and, oh. and then we'll watch the Nets and Hornets uh we'll watch uh to see now these teams are both undefeated so regardless of you know the number not matching they're still undefeated so we'll watch that and then uh we'll end up watching uh the Kings and the Lakers play so you know a couple games we're gonna watch from here the Celtics Rockets game is actually gonna be a pretty good one Probably a good one to end the night on, actually. Um, I mean, this is this isn't even playoff basketball. This is just two you know, playoff teams playing basketball. It's right? time for this the East NBA. and West. I mean, if we did see this matchup, it would be literally championship basketball. We could potentially be seeing Jefferson. Well, we with David Aldridge roaming the sideline. We'll season. see the Houston Rockets taking couldn't, on the Boston Celtics. A look at the, the opening playoffs. lineup for the Houston Rockets. Uh, Hawkins is out there with Moses Malone. You know, the Rockets then were Russell West champs the season before and that. That's Elijah Wan in at the pivot spot. Man in the middle. Hmm. Nailed from three-point so land. Oh, you see two teams. Good look there as well. Get it. And this is what the Celtics actually make a change after. Pay too much attention to him. very tired. He'll burn you with a nice line. So, here's Cowan. Yeah, so now Dave Cowan's is out there. And in also, the corner, I think Bill's Tatum better off the bench in Here's Kuzi. Good on the three-point shot. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at us. Meanwhile, it's Rockets team. Right there. You mesh and mesh it. And it's lined up. And oh, and it's wow. Westbrook missing. <laughs> Westbrook will bring it way off Austin. there. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> That's deep, deep. I'm about to say, if he made that, it looked like it was on target, too. I was like, if he made that, that would have been, that would have been nasty. That would have been one of those things where it's like, you didn't know the Celtics. Sometimes things happen in the game, you're like, yeah, we know it's going Kicks it to Bird. It's, it's not even that that one thing was so devastating. It's just that, like, if that's what they're doing, and here on the first, and it's, and it's dropping, on two minutes play. Yeah, we know. We know who's who's with the Bucks. <laughs> well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the team. Oh. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. The quick thinking of Westbrook, sensing separation and electing to go right up with it. That's to Tatum. Oh. No good. I shot missing. So Houston will take it the other way. Really 
Harden against Max Lewis, who by the way last season. Harden's shot is good. In the beginning of the season. You know, this was out to a hot start. Four mates and five you know, shots. There was some growing pains. He's still ended up finishing number one team. Number one team in the NBA. Nothing that time. He's uh, over oh for two. But, you know, it took him out of the starting to lineup. The defense pay and they got some the playoffs. And that time. I think that's when it all lost. Oh, kicks to Westbrook. It's that was in his 30s as well. To Westbrook. Launches it. I think Boyd just got tired. It's in by Bird. Celtics trail by four. Passes to Kuzi. Hmm. Back hmm. to Bird. Oh, who's slinging that thing? Lock at six. Shot from the wing. No good. So Houston will take it the other way. Celtics at home. Oh, it's charge, right? Ooh. Larry didn't have his feet set. Tough call to make. You know, right here. First quarter of that show, just under three and a half minutes played. Tough call. Oh, look at that. Harden the pass to Westbrook. 15 steps, step back. This has not been before. Westbrook, no good. Outside Tatum. Bird. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Larry Bird on the ground. Larry Bird's on the ground. Deter that shot, utilizing that size and reach. Oh, man. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Here's Kuzi. He's covered by Westbrook. Ooh. The shot's good. Kuzi. Kuzi's got the defense nine. kind of disappeared there. Four. He took full advantage. Oh, wow. A reach in foul for Max Lewis? And so it's Houston with it. Elijah on the wing. Whistle blows, bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that's just too deep. Uh, Elijah Wan with way too many moves in there. Almost automatic. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Rockets. Here's Hit it on the front rim, but maybe by design. And that one drops for him. As they get an extra Such point out of player. Uh, Hakeem is, is light off the ground there for that rebound. And then the skill to send that one home. Now, here is Bird. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Absolutely. Here's Westbrook. Now the best to Elijah Wong. Oh, look at that. Elijah on can't hit. Almost so shook him up by five. Lewis passes to Kuzi. Bird high post. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Collins, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Hakeem Elijah on. How about that skill set that Collins possesses? Shoots a high clip from the field and rebounds the ball well at either big man position. First trip to the line for him here. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 
Green's a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Here's Westbrook. I'll take the minute. Oh! oh. On the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. All around okay, the so world. If I would have said this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an right. undersea. Oh, yeah. But hey, Ace. sometimes you gotta oh. shoot your Larry way Larry Bird played too much. Even for him. Harden inside the three point <laughs> line. Just put a little Garage spin in there just for fun, hit. bro. And you right guys from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50 oh. 50 balls Steve's. also. It's like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> You're like, hey, I'm just, I'm just being me, man. I'm just trying to catch a bucket. Bird passes to Tatum. Oh, no. oh, and doesn't go on the chance. Oh, to what the hell? Boom, he chains it straight down. Russell Westbrook didn't secure the rebound. Absolutely great. That you know, a broken play. Dave Collins is staying in there. Mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Bird with it. Picked oh, up wow. by Elijah Wong. Mom. And Larry Bird. Good World's three. slowest spin. Bird's got six. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's Larry Bird finds himself wide open. Shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Who gave him the green light tonight? This quarter. Take those yeah, shots. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold. Like, oh. amazing. What's colder than That's cold? That's not a foul. You don't have to shoot it, my guy. Poor Larry it's Bird. It's okay to pass the ball. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start oh, to wow. chip in a bit more offensively. Shots are just flowing from him right now, having a really strong wow. quarter. I mean, Larry Two literally. He passes to Tatum. Like, he to the paint. Here's Went over top of him to, to make that block. Good. good D by Elijah Wan. Oh, oh. <laughs> Down it goes. His third yeah. basket. He's now there. four for four. He was and just we there. talk about the importance of versatility. There he is. He's really wow. got it all in this quarter. To then. Lewis outside. There's the three. I think it says something Elijah about how good this Celtics team is that Larry Bird has got four rebounds can go, out tonight. You know, two of seven. And that's good for Malone on the assist and by Elijah. Being clown on defense. Now it's a five-point Houston and lead. Malone is still in five points. Be intimidating. Now. He's superb at scoring, even when the D is great on the shots. The shot's good from Kuzi. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Pass to Malone. Here's Dawkins. Elijah Wan, right side. And it's Houston with another. <laughs> you know, as good as Elijah Wan is on the blocks, he's been fantastic he be tonight. Effective from or he has four rebounds, or he has a block. Tatum. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second team ball. Well, Celtic shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. At the line for two. That free throw, no good. What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. A new lineup here for Houston. Okay. Everybody by three. coming out. And with an update the from the sideline. Right? So you got JoJo White, Let's John Hamilton, Kevin McHale, Kevin, and Bill Russell. Good evening, Kevin. I was able to Russell talk to the Rockets head coach. Out there, Jason Tatum, of course, still on the He doesn't know what to expect. The Rockets, so this is the first meeting between these two teams. You've got Steve Francis, you've got Jalen Green, you've got Jason Brady. Some Brady. Some but he told me, oh, sometimes he's he's me. we're at our best. And we're relying on our instincts and awareness at the offensive end. 
Kevin, we'll see if that holds true. Yes. All right, David, thank you. Sounds like to execute the plan, you're going to have to get that good Francis. shot selection. Oh, no wow. doubt about it, Kevin. Oh, awesome. If you want to shoot a high percentage in, the in this lanes. league, you have to be patient. And you have to Jojo White on Yao Ming. Someone please set a screen, do well, something. Definitely the strategy. Yao doesn't even have to be in position to play defense right here. And oh, my and despite the size disadvantage, I spoke too soon. The heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Francis has shot his off. And so it's McHale with it. He'll bring it up for Boston. Right up top. Fires from deep. Good on the triple. Now it's a four-point zone at lead. Those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets. Three have been tripping in the great two minutes. The Rockets with another miss. And Yao Ming for Houston with a block hit win against out the there Pistons doing in Detroit. Doing less than that. <laughs> Outside Tatum. <laughs> uh, he's shooting that from deep, deep. Off. Backboard. Well, Tatum Bank is open. He is for the catch and shoot, he's such an efficient scorer. He gets trailed by seven. Timeout called. The Rockets. Yeah, now the Rockets gonna call a timeout. Going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Good timeout, if you ask Found themselves me. up. They, they were clowning Larry Bird. The coach wants to find a way to try and stop them. The benches gets walked in. All of a sudden, they're... they've stalled out. Now, I think Paul Pierce comes in for Jason Tatum. As some executives are talking, I assume it's like that matters. Oh, that's the Rockets bench. They're all arguing with each other. Here's Green. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Francis. Light covering. Oh. I'm agreed, no good. And you could tell oh, he thought that Tracy McGrady was going to fall. He is. Here's Russell. And that's out of bounds. Boston will nice. retain possession. What? What? My own pace? Here's Pierce. Look at this. Look at Paul Pierce. And Tracy McGrady got your box, buddy. Solid play oh, wow. Block, and that one's good. Build it in. He's always been great at just getting into the heart of the defense. Feels real comfortable when he's in attack green around the rim. Now, Yo, just clear out let him go to work, bro. That's it to Francis. Shot clock at six. He kicks to Hayes. And it's oh. that time on the assist by Hayes. And how about he said right back at you. Brady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside. Lost to one. Hey, here. No joke. No joke. No, 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 no. No joke. No, no. 29 seconds left to play in the first quarter. He said, I just dunked on you. Yep. Stop playing with me like you can go. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside oh. and getting good shots from close range. Twelve seconds left in the first. Ooh. Here's Francis. And Ooh. He hands it with authority. And not only does he get Ooh, all the way damn. to the rim in traffic, but I has got a chance to check to one up reverse. here from half. You gotta be kidding. See Francis that. all in his mouth on defense. And a six-point lead at home after Larry Bird was doing what he was doing. The Celtics probably feel good about win winning. I feel good about them winning. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 29-point game. I mean, held the Rockets to horrible percentages. They won this on defense. I mean, they won this purely on defense. They basically held them to under 30 points a quarter um, the whole time, which is a recipe for success in this league. And, you know, when you hold people under 120, you're on to something. Um, I mean, yeah, literally every statistical thing you can measure in a basketball game, the Celtics were better at here. Uh, 
alone. Yeah, he had a double double, but I mean, that's that's it. <laughs> Nothing really to write home about other than they did okay on the boards. But Larry got his. He started out two of seven, finished nine of sixteen, which means he literally went seven of of nine to finish. <laughs> um, and then. Kuzi still had 25 points. And by the way, also with seven rebounds, seven assists, like he had a nice even, uh, you know, stat, stat line there. You know, Tatum dropped 15. JoJo White had double digit uh, points and assists with that epic monster slam. Mikhail with double digit rebounds. So yeah, a few people had some, some above and beyond standout performances on the evening. So, you know, that's how they really secured this. But I think that that is going to do it for us here. And we're probably going to finish the night on that. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're a day late. All right. The the link to Twitch is, is down in the description. Go check it out. If you want to be there and with everyone uh, experiencing it live, whatever we may be doing, uh, that's where you'll want to, where you'll want to be. Plus, uh, I, my streaming has been more frequent and less announced. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to miss anything, right, you, you got to head over to Twitch, right? Uh, but that's going to do it for us, man. Get out of here. Go have fun. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.